I'm here in Mono Meadows, getting ready to go on my hike. And this doe comes walking up. I don't know if you can see her over there or not. Let's see if I can get closer. There she is. She's eating over here. Hi. Yeah, there she is. See her? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a couple more back there. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, there's a warning sign. The Yosemite National Park recommends you not hike on this trail. Trail is currently snow covered. Trail not visible. Well, we'll see. So Mono Meadows is a half a mile. Illouette Creek is 2.9 and Nevada Falls is 6.1. So we're gonna go down this way. I think Illouette Falls is down here as well. So we'll see how far I can go today. I don't know if you guys can see how much snow is still way up there. A lot of snow still. My guess will be August before it melts. Okay guys, so this trail starts out with descending down actually. I'm used to <laughs> starting switchbacks right off as I'm going <laughs> starting the trailhead so this means I have to come back up the hill at the end which I rather come down at the end instead of going up but whatever look how beautiful it is out here though hear the birds singing Looks like they had a fire up here this last year, I think is when they had the big burn up here. Last year and then in 2013 as well. Now I don't know which which one was burned up here. I think it was last year. The fire was massive last year. Nice little creek. This must be the meadow. This must this must be mo Mono Meadows.
Look at all that snow up there. It's really cloudy today, overcast. Must be really warm down in the valley. Who knows, we might have some thunderstorms this afternoon. This is more downhill, so that means it's all uphill on the way out. A little more than I wanted to do today, but we're gonna go with it. Okay guys, it looks like we've gone 2.8 miles. So we started at Glacier Point Road. And so, three miles back. We're gonna keep going for a little bit and see how we do it's all back uphill going all the way back that's three miles all uphill so i have to think about how far i want to go <laughs> anyway all right let's go down to the river i can hear the river from here I think there's a footbridge somewhere around here. Nevada Falls, 4.2. Yosemite Valley, 7.3 from here. Wow. And there, this is a break in the trail. You go this way. Buena Vista Lake, Johnson Lake, Buck Camp, 13.8 miles. We're gonna go towards Nevada Fall. Do you remember a few weeks back, that's where we went, was to Nevada Falls. This is coming in from the other side. Pretty good. It's getting warmer. All the snow's melting. I took my lunch here. What an incredible place to take lunch right along the river. Where did you take lunch today? This is where I took lunch. I think this is the back side of uh, Half Dome, I do believe. It's a nice little campground, or should I say, nice little camp spot, but I didn't think you could be this close to the river. Um, but obviously people have been camping here. But wow, 
Wouldn't that be cool to wake up in the morning next to the river? I can't wait to get back into backpacking again. Coming soon, hopefully. Well, not too soon. Because if I'm, I'm backpacking, that means Miss Diamond's no longer with me. I, ca I can't do that until she decides to move across the to the other side. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen too, too soon. But she is 14 and a half now. So, and for those that you don't know, Diamond is my dog. So, okay guys, I have decided to go ahead and turn around and go back up. Um, it's, it's three miles back up, you know, and it's all uphill and a couple stream, one stream crossing uh, that I will record this time going through it. Um, and then, like I said, it's all uphill. So, yeah, and it's already 1.30, almost 2 o'clock. So by the time I get back, it's going to be pushing 5, 5.30. So it's a full day hike. So I will see you on the trail. Okay guys, I gotta go back through this stream again, this creek, and it's up to about my waist here. So, at least my camera's waterproof. If you're seeing this, you know I made it. <laughs> it is pretty swift. I came through it, so it's doable. It's a little slippery down there. So, all right. Woo, it's cold too. Here we go. going back across and it was going over. It's already four o'clock. My guess, I have at least another hour to go.
Okay, guys, that concludes another Let Go and Live adventure. You just got to let go so you can start living. And you hang on to all that stuff from the past. It's not going to get you anywhere. You have to let go of that, man, and just really start living life. Life is way too short. Don't wait till you're 80 to get out there and start living because why not do it now? Anyway, so if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And I've got lots of fun adventures coming up.